How can a person get the justice of God on their side? The Bible says in 1 John chapter 1 and verse 9, it says, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. How is it that God can be just in forgiving sins? Well, that's all because of the cross of Calvary. We read in Romans chapter 3, verses 25 and 26, it says, Whom God has set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are passed through the forbearance of God. To declare, I say at this time, his righteousness, that he might be just and the justifier of him which believeth in Jesus. Notice that phrase, that he might be just and the justifier of him which believeth in Jesus. And then notice what it says in verse 25 of Romans chapter 3. It says, Whom God has set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood. That is, Jesus Christ is the satisfaction of God's justice. God's justice indeed demanded satisfaction. And God's justice was answered in a satisfactory way when Christ was at Calvary. Jesus fulfilled the law with his life. Never one time did he sin. But when he went to the cross, all of our sins were placed upon him. The scripture says, For God hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. That is, Christ took all that was ours, he took all of our sins, that he might give us all of his righteousness. And because the debt is paid in full, he can be just and the justifier of them which believeth in Jesus. So how do you get the justice of God on your side? You have to come to Christ in repentance and faith. The Bible says that in Acts chapter 20, verse 21, it says, Testifying both to the Jews and also the Greeks, repentance toward God and faith toward the Lord Jesus Christ. So when a person is willing to repent of their sins, put their trust in Jesus Christ who made an atonement for sin, at that moment they are justified. And God is just in justifying them because we broke God's law, but Jesus paid our fine. He paid the debt for us. I want to thank you for listening and wish you all a very wonderful day.